I've, now I've brought my quilt over and I've placed it on top of the metal hoop that's attached to the embroidery arm and I have marked my quilt with a yellow line. It's a little hard for you to see but it's it's right about there uh, so I know where the middle of the quilt is. I'm going to start in the middle of the quilt and work my way to right and then when I'm ready to do the other side I can just flip the quilt around and that way I never have more than half of the quilt over here in the arm of my machine. Of course, the Epic 2 has lots and lots of room, but it just makes it a little easier to work with. Okay, now that I've got my quilt roughly where I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the magnetic part of the hoop down on top of the metal part. And this is really important. You need to make sure that it lines up on the edges of the base of the hoop. Um, you don't want to be stitching onto a hoop and breaking the needles and wreaking all sorts of havoc. <laughs> so, okay, I've got my fabric or my quilt hooped, and look how easy that was. I can adjust things with this hoop and not pull them out of alignment. So I really love working with these magnetic hoops. All right, so now I'm going to move over to the screen, and I'm going to show you the traditional old-fashioned way that we do uh, design positioning uh, on Viking machines and I think it's really wonderful actually I'm just um, on the Epic 2 there's a new option that you can use the app to do your design positioning and I haven't uh, played with the app enough yet to to show it to you but that'll be another video here pretty soon Okay, so this is design positioning. I know that because it says it up in the upper left-hand corner. Um, in the lower left corner, I'm gonna select number one. Okay, so step number one is where we're gonna move this turquoise cursor <clears throat> to where I want it to be, um, to the point that I wanna use to line up on the quilt. So I want it to be and I'm going to open this little menu up here. This gives me some already set options, and I'm going to choose the middle. Um, and then I'm just going to use my arrows and move that cursor all the way to the top of the screen. This is kind of how I do it, um, so I know I'm in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to get all the way to the top of the design, maybe back down just a little bit, go a little too far. Okay, now I'm going to choose in the lower left-hand corner, step number two. And what this does is as I move the cursor on the screen here, it turns the cursor red. Um, it's going to, while I move it, it's going to actually move the hoop so that I can get my needle lined up right on that middle line. That's what I'm going for. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Looks like my uh, quilt is in there pretty straight. And so I'm going to go ahead and press, oh, nope, I'm going to pull my bobbin thread up to the top. So I just use the hand wheel to do that. And then use the pull on that thread to pull the bobbin thread up. And it's under there somewhere. There we go. And I'm going to pull that up. And now I'm going to press start stop and it's going to start my quilt. Oh, nope, I'm still in design positioning. So I need to press the check mark, which says, yes, everything's where I want it. And then I am going to pull up my, uh, my bobbin thread one more time um, because I wasn't in the right position. So now I know I'm in the spot where it's going to start. So I turn the hand wheel, pull that bobbin thread up, and now I'm ready to start. And I'm gonna press the start stop button. And I just kind of keep things uh, aligned up here. I could trim that thread right now if I wanted to, but I'm not going to, because that would take my other, too many hands. <laughs> More hands than I have available. All right, and here we go. It's doing the stitching. I'll wait until you can see a little bit of it, and then I'm gonna turn this off, 
and I will show you how to line things up um, after I move the quilt to the next section. All right, so my quilting is done. You can see it looks really beautiful. The next thing I'm gonna do is pull up my bobbin thread there and trim my threads, and then I'll start working on lining things up. All right, now that I've trimmed my threads, it's time for me to move my quilt. So what I'm gonna do is just take this magnetic portion of my frame, or quilting hoop, and I'm gonna lift it up and place it over the head of the machine just to get it out of my way. Then I can start moving my fabric around. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna come over to the screen and go back into design positioning. And I'm gonna do things a little bit differently this time. I'm gonna to touch this little flower that is design positioning on the Epic 2. And originally when we started out, I lined that center point up. But now I wanna change that point that I wanna to use to line things up to the upper left-hand corner. So I touch number one, and then I'm gonna to touch this little toolbox and then the up, choose the upper left-hand corner. Now here's something that's really powerful, I think, about design positioning on Viking machines, is if you touch this little magnifying glass right there and then touch the next one that shows up, it will take you right into the very stitch point um, level. So you can select just one tiny stitch point and determine exactly where that needle is going to go down. So now that I've selected that point, I'm going to zoom back out. So I touch that icon and I'm going to toggle that off and get that out of the way. Now I'm going to touch number two, which as I mentioned the last time, now I'm going to be able to, normally what I would do would be to move the design on the screen so that it would line up with uh, my fabric where I wanted it. But what I'm going to do this time actually is a little different. Um, I am going to move my quilt so that the quilt is under the needle where I want to sink that needle, where I want to line that point up. And sorry about that. So now you can see, I hope I have put the needle down right where I want that design to line up with the previous stitching, okay? I'm gonna to try to make sure it's really straight, and then it's time to bring, before I lift the needle or do anything else, I'm gonna bring this hoop back down and put it on the magnetic hoop over my quilt. And because it's a magnetic hoop, I can kind of shift things around a little bit, but you see I still have the needle down, which is hold, keeping my fabric from moving away from where I want it to start stitching. I'm gonna pause for a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, and so here it is, stitching out my design. One thing, a couple of other things you need to think about. Um, it's really important to keep this extra part of the quilt out of the way, but also it's very important to support the weight of the quilt. Uh, right now, uh, what it can do if you don't is it can actually pull the um, embroidery arm out of calibration and then you'll have to recalibrate. So I have my quilt spread out on my table. It's a pretty small quilt so I didn't need any extra help and I have the rest of it here in my lap <laughs> uh, as I'm waiting for it to quilt this section. So that's a really important thing. You want to make sure that the weight of the quilt is not dragging on that embroidery arm. 